All right, so obviously just following the news of the passing of um, Clive Barker, we're going to cross to our studios where uh, Dr. Kumalo, in fact, is uh, paying tribute to him, perhaps reflecting on his life and times and the influence that he had um, during his career as a footballer. Let's take a listen in. Come on, doggy, dance boy, dance boy. Mm. Mm. He was the only coach who was giving me 100% freedom to do whatever on the field and he used to say go out there dance boy dance doggy we need you and i didn't understand why would life single me out and probably with the late shoes michelle it was the case but always whenever we have a camp or a game for the fana, he will have a one-on-one -on -one with me and he will say our hopes lies on your shoulders He's, he's the only one who can answer that and I can't because I had to go out and do what the coach asked me to do. And uh, he moved from being a coach, he moved from being a father, he was like a friend. Whenever I come back from uh, USA to come for the Bafana squad, the first thing, how's your family? Mm. That on its own, that social factor we had, mm. you know. Which coach can worry about your family, your well-being? What are you up to? Clive was like that, that kind of a person. Till today, if they can say we start afresh, Clive is the coach. I'll buy the bullet for him. Wow. I will. Because this is the man that made me to be who I am. He instills a lot of good spirit in me, confidence. It's not easy to carry a country, Andile. But with life, he made it look easy. Can you imagine you, you're given a task two minutes before kickoff to say, take us to France. Ah, that's it, Andile. The thing about Clive, Doc, is even beyond the fact that he never had a proper professional contract with Safa yeah. to coach Wafana, he was still, you know, a coach at club level as well. Mm -hmm. Never did he ever complain. No. Never did he ever say the country did me wrong. No. Never did he ever look at the bad yes. that was done. <clears throat> Always so positive. We worked with him here at the SABC Sport, of course, as one of our analysts, and it was some of the best times that I had with a mentor. Um, in Clyde Barker, but we'd like to welcome everybody on the different SABC platforms who are now joining us, um, including those on SABC News as well, who have decided to take this as well, or to hear with Dr. Kumalo. A career of Clyde Barker's that was shining, but of course, it's a Bafana Bafana star that stands out. A star on a jersey that represents the man on the bench. From his time at Finland's Amazulu, Pine Town Celtic, many more will know him and love him, of course, from a Durban bush box as well as Durban city, the KZN son of the soil did his bit for this province. But yeah. it was the selflessness in him. It mm. was um, the way that he was able to give so much and not once did he ever look back and say, I mean, I mean, I can a proper altruist. You know, when you talk about a man on a stage had to tell the way it's supposed to be told. I can quote so many incidents. We played England, Old Trafford, where there's a problem with our appearance fee. And we didn't go for, t for training. And this man, by then, 99% of the players were outside from South Africa playing there. The only player that was still here, it was the late John Moet. And we, we said to him, our coach, we're not going there. For the first time in my life, in Bona, a coach, stuck with the decision of the players. And if you're not training, I'm not training either. Mm. You have to get what you want in order for you guys to perform. This was life. And life will always come to you if you're doing something wrong. You know, there are certain things, I can talk the whole day about this. We can listen you. the whole day. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, 